Hello guys, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. We will be doing a pick a card reading today on who's paying close attention to you. Who's playing who's paying close attention to you? I have three pals here. Pick from the pal that you are most drawn to, and we'll get started. I'll give you a moment to pick from the pal. Okay, we'll get started with pal number one. Who, who's paying close atten attention to you, pal number one? We have the three of pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's paying close attention to you. I'm trying to put this down here where y'all can see the card. It could be a Libra. It could be a Aries, Leo, or Sag. I feel like this is somebody that you used to work with here that's paying a lot of attention to you. Maybe because you moved and got a job that um that you've been praying or something for, and you moved and the travel, um you had to travel to this new job here. So I feel like it was a old you know some old coworkers you used to work with that's really watching you here because you had you got you got the success you wanted with this travel here. I, I'm feeling like you got a new job or something and you moved. Um, you know, with this travel success for this job. This person is watching you get wish fulfillments here, you know, maybe you bought a new home car, you know, or, you know, they could see, you know, your finances are better because I feel like you had to make a move from this old job and this is somebody you consider as a friend on the job or something. And they watching you very closely since you made this move here. They watching all your manifestations come in with this magician card. Like I said, maybe you bought, you know, some new things and you doing, you know, they see you doing a whole lot of better since you left this job. You got this promotion and it calls for you to travel with it. But um just um be careful uh with people in general. Like I said, I feel like this was somebody you consider as your friend. So they could have been pretty close to you, but they are watching your every move since you left this job and you've been advanced. Like you got a promotion or a better paying job that requires you to move. Just defend your territory, defend your energy or whatever you need to do. Uh, whoever this is, you probably know who I'm talking about in this reading. But yep, yeah, this person is watching you very closely. Let's see what else I have here. Uh, yep, I feel like it was somebody you used to work with here. They watching your every move because occupation showed up here in the Three of Pentacles. That's working with somebody. So this is an ex-co-worker that you consider as a friend here that's watching you. It could be a male. Somebody you was very close with, you know, spent a lot of time with on the job or whatever. Y'all used to work together. Could be an older man here. Could be an ex-boss or anything with this uh, mature man being here. I feel like this person wanted to date you. Maybe they hate that you moved on here. The reason why they watching you all the time here in this reading here. But, um... You know, I don't really see anything bad so far in these cards. The reason why, you know, just just be aware of things, what people's motives could be for coming back. But this person could actually want to date you. Take it as it resonates. It could be for a man or a woman here. And these are timeless readings. You know, like I say, it may not happen today, tomorrow, next week. These are timeless readings. But this is somebody that wants to date you. Take it as it resonates, male or female. 
Um, <clears throat> I feel like they watching you because they hate you moved on here with their chari chariot car and you, you moved to another job. This person got some insecurities here. A lot of insecurities. Yeah, like I said, y'all could have been really close on the job, and you may already know that this person have a lot of insecurities about how to come towards you. They want to date you, but they got some insecurities in their heart and everything because the heart is lighting up, lighting up right here on this card. And this is a male on here. Take it as it resonates, male or female. This person got some insecurities. Maybe they think that they're not good enough for you. Maybe, like I said, maybe y'all was um, really good friends or co-workers on the job, and this is somebody who want to date you. Maybe this person feel like that they got to be a perfect person for you since you se seem to be so ambitious. You know, you want more for your life, and you moved and everything. So, yeah. This person kind of feel like they got to be perfect. They got a lot of insecurities. See, this person is uh, paying close attention to you. But this person does have a lot of passion here. And maybe you found that out on the job. They very passionate. But, you know, it's kind of like they're afraid to come, you know, let you know that they are watching you or paying so much attention to you. <clears throat> this person wants to follow their instinct. Their mind is telling them, their heart is telling them, but I feel like in this reading that they got a fear of being rejected, that you may not think that they're good enough because they feel like, not that you don't feel like they're good enough, because, but this person feel like they got to be perfect for you, and they kind of afraid to follow their instinct. If you look at this wolf in this picture, it wants to come forward, but it's looking from side to side here. So it's like this person with their own insecurities here, but this person is watching you here. Maybe this is somebody, you know, y'all used to encourage each other a lot here. You know, say a lot of encouraging things to motivate each other that you're good enough, you can get the job. Maybe you was talk maybe this person used to talk to you a lot about you should go for your dreams and your goals, but this is somebody that definitely wants to date you here. Because the courtship card came out. Let's see what else we have here. Like I said, indecisive. This person don't know where to, you know, why they watching you. Uh, they don't know where to make they move. Uh, it's just a feeling of being rejected or them being very insecure themselves here. But they trying to make a decision. This person is definitely want to take action here. They definitely wants to move forward, and I feel like that they will. It's like their own insecurities in their own mind is holding them back from following their instinct on coming, you know, coming towards you, reaching out to you to let you know, you know, that they want a relationship here. Yep, this person, like I said, y'all used to work together maybe y'all shared a lot of things personal things relationship things other things but this person just alone you heal them in a lot of ways that's why they pay close attention to you this person misses you here they misses you you probably heal them in so many ways even with their insecurities by that being here you have healed this person. Your words are encouragement because all encouragement and everything is here. So you probably healed this person. This person wants a relationship with you that's paying close attention to you. This person really appreciate everything you did, the conversation, the words, the encouragement, just being there for them. So this person is paying so close attention to you because they want, they feel like you are the one. You healed them in so many ways here. Along with, you know, like a spiritual path or something, this person did di differently here. They went inside, even though it may s seem to still come out as insecurities, but you have helped heal this person in a lot of ways, and this person is definitely coming towards you here. So this is who is uh, keeping a close eye on power number one. We will be moving on to power number two. I would like for you guys to like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you can know when I post my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. 
We're going to move on to pile number two as soon as I can get these cards up off the table. Okay, pile number two is the purple crystal. On who's paying close attention to you? Pile number two. Who's paying close attention to pile number two? We have the Knight of Cups that came out. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The Capricorn card. I mean, no. The uh, Scorpio card came out. The Eight of Pentacles is here. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. More Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces is here with their Four of Cups. And the Nine of Swords could be a... Um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that's paying close attention to you. So I feel like the person that's paying close attention to pal number two is um, somebody that want a romantic love or relationship with you. This person wants a brand new beginning in life here. A brand new relationship starting over brand new here. This is somebody that works very hard all the time here. Um, this is somebody I feel like they haven't been dating or getting out in a while because the Four of Cups is here. But this person is kind of all in all in their head, like they stressing a lot with a lot of anxiety with this Nine of Swords about um, you know, just letting you know that they you know paying attention to you. This is something they doing behind the scenes that you don't know about, but they really want to offer you love here. This person want a brand new beginning in a relationship, starting brand new, fresh. It's somebody that works very hard though. We have the family room here. This per person is paying very close attention to you. Like I said, they want a relationship. They want this. They they probably got a home without a family there. This person wants to build a family with you. They want you know this. They want to fill this family room with a uh, marriage, children. You know, it's probably like this person. Like I said, they probably live by themselves because they spend a lot of time alone. They probably have a really nice home or a home without a family in it. This person definitely want to offer you love because they want to, you know, want you to be the one that they, they make a family with. Fill this family room up. This person wants to make you the main female or main male. Take it as it resonates here. Like I said, a brand new beginning. This person, you know, they want to put the past in the past and start over brand new in a relationship with you. Regardless if this is somebody coming back from your past or what, want to offer you love again, you don't have to know the person. They, they've they been in relationships, I'm sure, before, but they want a brand new beginning, you know, this time. That's here twice, the death card and the coffin card. So this person wants a brand new beginning in life to have the family and the wife, a husband, children. The child card is here. Like I said, this person wants to fill this family room up with a wife, a husband, a family here. This is what this person wants now. This coming to offer you love here. Let's see what else we have here. Pound number two. Yep, this person's want to be, you know, very happy with a family, a wife, somebody that they can build with here. They want to create the family here with you. They want to be very happy because they've been kind of bored, uninspired, uh, you know, just busy working a lot with their eight of pentacles here. This person is ready to be happy in love with the family life. This person has a lot of wisdom. They're very smart. They're very hard workers. Something they're working on, working on their own business. They may already have it here. But this person is a very hard worker and very smart. Has a lot of wisdom and knowledge. This person knows what they want. Like I said, this person is thinking about expansion. Making a family. They've been working on this business. They want to include you in this business. Expanding the family, expanding, expanding, you know, like 
building wealth and a lot of opportunities for family here. So this person has a lot of wisdom and knowledge. They pretty much has it all lined up about what they want. This is the person that's paying close attention to you behind the scenes. And this person is expecting a miracle. When they do contact you, they want, you know, that you will see what they saying and hear hear what they saying and see how, you know, Knowing that they really mean that they ready to be in love. They ready for this husband or wife here. They ready for children. They ready to expand with you, to build with you here. They expecting a miracle. You know, once they show you, you know, God is putting all this together here, leading this person. This person has spent a lot of time by themselves. They know what they want. They work. They got their eight of pentacles. Could have a little bit more here, so they have enough to take care of a family, a husband, a wife, or you know, contribute to the income to the household. This person wants to build with you. They ready for love and a family here, pal number two. Let's see what else we have here. Like I said, this person has been asking God and Spirit to help them with this, to help make this decision. The reason why they're gonna be expecting a miracle because they feel like this divinely guided from spirit. That's why this person was be spending a whole lot of time by themselves all the time. They've been talking to spirit here. So they're expecting a miracle to get this family and you know this marriage and all of this kind of stuff here because they've been talking to God. God is helping them with it. They've been asking God to help with balancing things out. This I seem feel like that Everything will be balanced here, you know, as long as y'all in agreement with everything here. The angel of balance is here because this person has heavily been talking to spirit and spirit guide them. That's the reason why they've been spending time alone. They don't want just any type of person here. They've been letting spirit help them balance their life out. Yep, they've been asking for strength here to be strong and wait on that right person that's being sent from spirit down here the balance in their life. They've been praying for balance and the strength to be able to hold out for the right one. Like I said, this person wants romance, love, long-term uh, commitment here with children, the expansion and all of this. So, um, yes, pile number two, this is all I have for you guys. I'll be moving on to pile number three. As long as I can get these cards up. Okay, pal number three. Who's been paying close attention to pal number three? That's the white crystal here. Okay, let's see who been paying close attention to you, pal number three. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords is here. That could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. We have the uh, King of Pentacles here. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. More of that Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And it's equal and equal here. We have the um, some more Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra here. Um, let's see. With that Ten of Swords being here, I feel like the person that's watching you this person has really been through a whole lot in their life here. You know, they was down at their lowest point in their life, and they picked themselves back up. You know, they went through a lot in the past here. This person has built wealth for themselves. This person could even be a boss that's watching you, keeping close eyes, a close eye on you. But this person is very wealthy here, have a lot of abundance here. 
this person, uh, yeah, they, they, with that six of pentacles, this is somebody that's paid very well here. Like I said, they could be a very big boss on their job. They could be an entrepreneur on their own business. But this person here, success is here again. This is a very success, successful person that's watching you. The world card is here. Maybe this person, you know, they were having money problems or something, and they weren't where they were in life before. But this person now, you probably don't even know this person, but I'm just explaining their background. This person, you know, have been through a lot with poverty and a whole lot of bad treatment here. But this person is looking for love now. But this person is keeping a close eye on you. It's kind of like they haven't put themselves out there to let you know yet and it's kind of like you know they restricting and holding back because they afraid here it's like they're all in their head about you know letting you know what they want with you this person is very um somebody got a lot of anxiety as well they don't know how to let you know that they've been keeping an eye on you um like I said, this is a official person here. This person here. Oh, yeah, I see now. This king of pentacles, take it as a resonate, it can be male or female on this reading. But this is a, a person that want to make things official with you because the lover's card is here. The lover's card here. This person definitely wants love, but they're afraid. They all in their head to let you know that they feel like you the one. They watching you maybe from social media uh, platforms or whatever you have on social media here. Somebody's watching you, but they want to make it official. Yep, they want to make you the, uh, you gonna, gonna be the first lady, the privileged lady here, because this is the king of pentacles here. This person is ready to make you the first lady or the first man here, the king or queen here, take it as it resonate. But the lover's cards here, so this is definitely all about love here. Look at that, big house, gated community. This person is very well off. They may very well have a home. It could be a man or a woman, take it as it resonate. This person want to make you official here. This person want to uh, make you the, uh, you know, the main woman, main man, privileged lady or man here. They want to put you in this gated house. They probably already got it. They have a nice home here and a lot of wealth to go with it but sometimes this person is all in their head they worry a lot you know about you know how to come towards you or let you know that they're watching you a lot here let's see what else we have here for you guys yep it's a lot of that here this person you know i don't know if this being because of things that happened in the past here but this person, the grief card is here. You know, this person may have been disappointed in the past with relationships and money and stuff like that. Because this person ha uh, has a lot of money here, a lot of finances here, a lot of abundance here. And, you know, um, it's just kind of like this person is all in their head. This person is watching you a whole lot, though. <laughs> Like I said, this person is, I didn't know this was here. This person had a, got a fear of being reject, rejected with the Eight of Swords here. This person has got a feeling of being rejected here. I don't know, maybe they look at your perception and think that they're not good enough for you here. Maybe you somebody really beautiful, handsome here, and they feel like that they can't have a person like you. So it's kind of got this person all in their head. I feel like they're not sad or anything no more because they have, you know, they picked themselves back up from a really bad time in the beginning. But um, maybe the perception you give off, they, they feel like they are not good enough, that you're too good, you're too handsome, you're too beautiful here. Because these cards look good here. Yep, this person is expect, expecting a renewal here. You know, renewal of their own life to be happy in love, I feel like. 
Maybe, like I said in the past, they went through a lot with their Ten of Swords there. They looking for a renewal in love and life because it looks like they have everything here. So they really taking a look at you. And I feel like this person uh, is afraid just to be rejected. But this person want a brand new life and relationship now. They feel like they're ready because they have everything they need for us, you know, everything to take care of a uh you know, a family and a relationship, a marriage or whatever. Let's see what else do we have for, um, yeah, if this person is watching you want a happy life, a happy family here. It could be others around that's watching too. There's some very envious people, but I don't pick that up from the cards I read in the beginning with this king or queen of pentacles here. There's some envy around here and some hostility around because this is uh, who is paying close attention to you. So you got more than this person is paying close attention to you with these cards being here. And I don't feel like it's the person that I was talking about because this person is, is expecting love here. So it's some other people that be watching you, cross watchers or whatever, or could, could even play like they love you here. But at the same time, they envious of you here. I feel like with the person that I mainly been talking about in the beginning, this King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles here, this person wants love here, deeply. They want love. They want a family relationship, marriage here. So this is all I have for you guys on power number three as well. Press the like, share, and subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your notification button so you can know when I'm coming on when I post my videos. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.